Hello, my name is Geert-Jan Koots <clears throat> and I'm the curator of library collections at the Rijksmuseum. Spending many hours at home as a result of the corona lockdown, you might have looked more carefully at the decoration of your rooms. To provide some inspiration, I would like to draw your attention at some recently acquired books on interior decoration. Although interior designers already appeared in ancient Egypt and India, the interior of the house in the West was often the housewife's concern. But in the 19th century, architects increasingly employed furniture makers and upholsterers to carry out the design of the interior space. And in the early 20th century, this role was increasingly taken over by independent designers. Richly illustrated albums with examples were published for decorators and clients were able to choose from these portfolios with interior prints. A recent acquisition of the Rijksmuseum Research Library is the publication Decorative Voorbeelder – Decorative Examples. It's published in episodes between 1890 and 1928. The illustrations are intended as examples for illustrators, painters, graphic designers, decorators, sculptures and architects. The lithographs provide a broad overview of motifs in Art Nouveau style. Elegant scenes are also included, such as Bathing in the Sea by Max Colombo and Dancing Fauns and Nymphs by Georg Barbier. Art Nouveau had a major influence on the development of the interior design. Characteristic is the blurring of the boundaries between painting, sculpture and crafts. The combinations of these different disciplines is very visible in the next publication, Ornamentique der Gegenwart. Both acquired volumes are part of a series of six portfolios. Several designs with intricate patterns and imaginative Art Nouveau motifs are shown per plate. Art Deco became fashionable around 1925. This style is mainly geometric and tighter, using sharp lines. A particular beautiful addition with interior examples is the French publication Décoration moderne dans l'intérieur, Modern Interior Decoration, which was published in 1935. Color is a powerful part of the interior. Interior designers must gain experience with colors understand their psychological effects and the meaning of colors to design suitable combinations. In 1929, the German painter Friedrich Wegert devoted the portfolio to this mood-determining element. In this album, color in the interior is seen as the leading aspect to create atmosphere in the living environment. These rare books with beautifully executed designs of ornaments and interiors are very interesting sources of inspiration for contemporary artists, architects and interior designers. I hope you enjoy these images and get inspired while staying at home.